Okay, um, so I have to start by saying I'm heartbroken, you're heartbroken. The city of Detroit is heartbroken over this. It feels so sudden. Um, yeah, well, yeah, to everybody it does feel sudden. We obviously, there was a few of us who knew back in January 2019 when he got colon cancer. We never realized or were smart enough to realize, even though we were told it was a certain stage that it was going to be as decapitating, that's not the right word, as, um, as, as bad as the Yes, yes, exactly. That's why you're on television, I'm just an idiot on the radio. Anyway, um, but it wasn't up until, I mean, he had his few little t- bouts where he would take a few days off and he'd go see a doctor. I knew he always, you know, he went through chemo and, and, and that stuff. Um, but it wasn't, I'm sorry, but it, it, it wasn't until a few weeks ago that I was on vacation and I noticed he wasn't working the whole week. And then he texted me and said they had something happen and he had to go to the hospital for a few days. And, and it, it just, it just got worse very, very quickly. And, you know, last Monday, as everybody knows, he came on the air for a couple of segments to talk about what had happened and uh, urged everybody to have a colonoscopy. And, uh, and we, you know, some of us got to see him on Tuesday. And I mean, he was, it sounded okay, but it, you could just see it. And, and then yesterday we got the news and it just from one week to the next. And, you know, it's just, we kind of, a lot of us kind of expected this to happen in, you know, months, six weeks, nobody, we were, we were all blindsided. Yeah, I was blindsided, but it happened yesterday. And it's just so heartbreaking, Jamie, that he, he's just such a kind, because you know, nice, funny, smart, so smart. And to deal with what he deal with, and he was never right, he was never a cancer patient. He would have never, most people, nobody knew, very few people even in the building that he worked with even knew. And uh, the fact that he had the strength, especially towards the end, uh, during COVID, which ended up in a weird way helping him because he didn't have to drive to work. Um, it, it became a struggle, but you would never know it. He was a, t- a total professional. And uh, it's just, it's so sad. And you talk about the outpouring and it's from all the local teams, the coaches who, who called up during, you know, last week and starting press conferences like Patricia and Bob, uh, Bob Quinn did. It's, he always wondered whether he made an impact because he was not, you know, outlandish. He was not a guy who called for people's heads. He was not the jokester. He was kind of the straight man. He had to put up with Wojo's buffoonery. And in the last five years, my ridiculousness, and as Christy, his wife calls him Monstonyisms. Um, but he was just, and he was so funny too. People didn't, you know, you have to realize that it's just, it's, tomorrow's going to be a very tough day. But we're, gonna, we're all going to get through it. That was going to be my question. I mean, tomorrow's Monday. The Jamie and Stoney show is supposed to air in the morning. What's that going to be like? Well, it'll still be the Jamie and Stoney show tomorrow. Uh, you know, people said, you know, you can write something, you can read something. I, I, I might have a few little notes of just stories that I might want to tell. But I think it's just going to be up from the heart. I'm just going to ramble. And I think that's, that's the way I am. That's the way he knows the way I am. I might you know, go off a beaten track a little bit. And our executive producer, Tom Milliken, will be with me in that in the studio um, to make sure I'm on the right course. And, and, and it's going to be a celebration of Jamie tomorrow. Hopefully a lot of listeners will call up. Some dignitaries and coaches will probably call up. And it's, 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 it's going to be tough. But uh, I've never gone through this in, in, in my long career. And most of us haven't. This is it's not going to be easy. Well, there's Jamie, the sportscaster, and then there was Jamie, the man who, my namesake, was a kind person. And he, yes. every time you ran into him, he would ask you how you're doing. Sometimes he'd bring up the Northwestern Wildcats with me because we had that in common. And I just remember how kind he was. And that's what a lot of people are saying. He's nice to everybody, people who you know showed up at the station for the first time, whether they be interns, uh, first jobs, he would always go out of his way. To be to be nice to them, and towards the end, I that was been basically my mantra is with all the 
crap that's going on in the political world right now, you know, just be nice to people. Just follow Jamie's advice. Just be nice to people. It's my mother is the stupidest thing, but she was right. You know, she'd say, Michael, it's just as easy to smile as it is to frown. You know, and she's right, she was right, you know, it's like, just, just be nice to people. That's, that's, that's not the dog, that's the dog bark on the phone. Uh, oh, it's a dog phone thing. My phone, yeah, it's my phone. Okay. My phone, my phone, my phone ring is, 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 the, is the, a dog bark. Well, I'm sure your phone has been just ringing off the hook and yeah. every, everyone wanting to talk to you and try and give you comfort. But I feel like in a couple of weeks when people aren't doing that is when it will all set in for you. Yeah, it, uh, that's when it will. That's, that's what it does with a lot of, you know, deaths in, 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 in every situation. When, you know, the grieving stops from the peripheral people, you know, as opposed to the, the family, that's when a family really needs, you know, the support. And hopefully we'll all be there, not for me, but for Jamie and, and Josh and Callan and, and, and Catherine. You know, that, that family is just out, they're outstanding. And he will was, there be any kind of public... I mean, it's COVID time, so right. I don't know, but a way to honor. No, from what um, what I understand, no, nothing has been planned right now. Maybe a small service, um, but not, not nothing right now. That could all change, but I, I don't think there's going to be because of COVID right. uh, anything big right right now. Anyway, is there? What's his legacy going to be here? Twenty five years plus in Detroit, multiple stations. What do you think? Jamie Sanderson impactful, funny, kind, smart, and as um, the Jewish people would say, a mensch. <laughs> <laughs>